It is now 5 in the morning. Today we are leaving the Kruger National Park. But we have planned and booked one last early morning drive. I really hope that we are gonna see a lion, maybe also a rhino. We only saw him from behind and from a very far distance. So I really hope that we're gonna see one today. What do you think? Okay, so we drove off the camp and at this time we've been only two minutes into our drive. And the first animal we saw was in the middle of the street. Everything what I hoped for to see and I always dreamed of. A male lion. A lion in the middle of the street. And he was also facing directly towards us. But the only problem was that as it was the first animal and it was so early, it was just too dark. I couldn't take any pictures. But I tried to take a video of him, but as we approached him, he already started to walk away and disappeared. We then drove further and only a couple of minutes later, again, in the middle of the street, was already the next animal. It was a huge elephant and he was a little bit aggressive. That was the reason why we stopped because our guide told us it would be too dangerous to drive by. The easiest way to tell not to mess with him when they're walking, they wee wee right on the top, uh, right on the road. Don't mess with them guys. We have waited for a couple of more minutes and then out of nowhere a car came by and tried to pass the elephant. He got he got a little bit crazy in that moment. And as we drove further and further, it became brighter and brighter. The sun arise and I then heard someone screaming, stop, two seats behind me on the left. It was Fabienne because she spotted a rhino. Okay. Stop. stop! Stop on the left! A lion or no? Even if it was far away, it was a far distance, I tried to take some pictures of them. Baby buffaloes. Yes, uh, Fabian and me, we were not sitting next to each other. Just like on our first safari. But the rhinos... How are you able to spot the rhinos? From such a far distance? I don't know. I'm huh? so far away. And as this was already one of the best game tries we ever had, this was still not everything. <laughs> We then had the highlight of this whole game drive. We drove around the corner and there were many cars on the road. And when there are many cars on a safari in a Kruger National Park, you know that there must be something very special going on. It was a... It was a... Leopard in a tree. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Eating. He must have chased and killed the antelope only a couple of minutes before we arrived. The antelope was still hot and fresh and warm. Was a little bit scary as a vegetarian, right? No, it was this. not scary. What was it? Sad? Or? No, it's nature. No. But it was it was very interesting. It was very interesting and it was That's so amazing. cool. He was as well a little bit far away, so I only took pictures, but I took hundreds of pictures. <laughs> Thank you. 
The sightseeing spot here is really cool because you can see where our people have spotted some animals and then you can try your luck there. It's really cool, right? Yeah. So yes, this game drive this morning was really one of the best ones we ever had and was also the last one. I would say it is a perfect ending to a very perfect successful week here on safari, right? Yeah. We definitely will come back, but today we headed to Johannesburg. We spotted some rhinos guys right there. They are quite far away. Yes. Okay, wow. We couldn't really see them because they were really far away. But we waited for a couple of minutes and they come closer and closer. And last but not least, they also cross the street directly in front of us. And I would say it couldn't be better mm. or not. This was really a dream of Fabienne to see a rhino and a little bit closer it would be too scary, right? Yeah. It was a perfect distance and we were able to take so cool photos of them. I also made a short video clip, which I'm gonna show you right now because we are about to leave the Kruger National Park. Are you sad? Yes. Are you sad that we're leaving? Yes. There's the gate. And this guy right over there is already waiting only for us. Oh. Hello. Yes. Hello. Are you good? No, we have to leave now. <laughs> we'll come back next time. Yeah, of course. Definitely, for sure. <laughs> yeah. We'll come back. Can I check the food? Yeah. 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 Have safely. Thank you. Bye bye. See you. Thank you. Bye bye. Next See you. time. <laughs> Bye bye. Bye. It's an emotional goodbye. I'm really sad. I know, I know you are sad. And I'm sure that you will come back and me as well. We both will come back. But you know what? Everything good and beautiful has an end. But we will never forget the memories we made. It is kind of sad, yes. Half past five, we are two hours into our drive. We need coffee. I'm so tired, almost fall asleep. And we're not gonna take turns. It's me who's driving, so I need a coffee. Hello. How are you? Uh, can I get a coffee? Anything else? Uh, no, that's it. Perfect. Thank you so much, ladies. Have a good one. Bye bye. She didn't ask for it, but I know that she's hungry. You know, this is exactly what makes her good relationship. Got a bagel for her. I got something for you. You didn't ask for it. What is that? It, it's a vegan hot bagel with hummus. Oh, thank you. All right, two more hours to go and we arrive in Johannesburg. Do you enjoy your bagel? Yes, thank you. Good evening, sir. Good evening. How are you doing? Wonderful, and you? I'm good, good. You need a travel license. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> the room number? Yeah, it's room 204. It's up the stairs once on your right. Okay, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Same hotel, but in our room. It's almost exactly the same room because 
Last time we've been here, last week, it was room number 304 and this is 204. So the room where we've been last week is exactly above us. See you in the next one. <laughs> See you in the next one. Fast. Max speed limit is 40. <laughs> Definitely not 40.